Hello all. Uh, we have with us today Dr. Hemant Kumar, who's done something that uh, many people still dream of, and uh, who's cracked almost uh, something a uh, cracked the feat that is probably many people dream and have uh, aspiration for. And uh, he's got a breathtaking rank of uh, All India AML five AIMS Merit List five in the recently concluded INISS in DM Cardiac Anesthesia branch. So hi, Dr. Hemant. Hello, sir. Hi. So can you can we start with a quick introduction about yourself? Yeah, sure, sir. Yeah. Um, myself, Dr. Hemant. Uh, I did my schooling from uh, Petit Seminar Higher Secondary School, Pondicherry, and I did my uh, MBBS from Sri Lakshmanarayana Institute of Medical Science, uh, Pondicherry. Then I did my MD Anesthesia from All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Batinda. Uh, sir, I got uh, recently passed out in uh, January two thousand twenty-five, sir. Uh, my final year MBA exam was there, sir. So after that, I was uh, I subscribed to uh, actually during my residency itself, I uh, had uh, access to surgery. Sir. Then I had uh, access to surgery for, during my post residency. Then I gave a uh, neat test, sir. I had secured a rank of uh, all India rank fifteen uh, in uh, neat test, sir. Uh, then I, I thought, why not give a shot? So uh, I also continued to prepare for INASS, and I faced a very great rank of uh, all India rank uh, five. So I'll be transferring now. That's right. So first of all, why cardiac anesthesia, doctor? See, you are in anesthesia yes, now. Why do you want to move yes. towards cardiac anesthesia? Yes, sir. Uh, so, sir, if we compare general anesthesia with uh, cardiac anesthesia, I felt like uh, cardiac anesthesia is a little more uh, fascinating because it is very challenging, sir. And I also see that uh, compared to all other specialties, cardiac anesthesia, uh, I feel personally uh, uh, debated toward, uh, towards it because uh, the prognosis is better in cardiac anesthesia, sir. So uh, once we do the uh, on pump or off pump CABGs, and then we ship the patient to uh, ICUs, and then we uh, routinely monitor them, and then uh, take them off the uh, ventilator, and then the patient uh, uh, will walk and go out of the ICUs. So that gave me uh, that satisfaction. I, uh, I I will get only in cardiac anesthesia, sir. So I thought I will proceed with uh, cardiac anesthesia. During my third year uh, residency, I also attended IACT account, that is uh, National Level Cardiac Anesthesia Conference. That further inspired me to take cardiac anesthesia uh, as I uh, explored more paths of cardiac anesthesia and what all can be done uh, in future. Everything I got to know about uh, cardiac anesthesia in that conference. So I further proceeded to take uh, cardiac anesthesia. In NATO also, I was uh, aiming for cardiac anesthesia only and uh, in INA also. So you basically feel cardiac anesthesia holds some perioperative care amongst all the anesthetic specialties, both pre-op, yes, intra-op and post-op uh, care yes, sir. as a whole you feel. And it also involves a bit of critical care also. Like as yes, far sir. as uh, it also involves a part of critical care. Mm -hmm. also. Yes, so you feel it's wholesome as a branch. Yeah, that's a good thought process to have. And uh, okay, so now... Uh, you said you had access to search test from your residency. We'll come to that in a while. So yes, what sir. was your preparation mode? How do you, when did you start and how did you go about this entire process? Um, sir, I think uh, the preparation for entrance exams uh, is a part and parcel along with our MD ex exit exam preparation. Sir. So um, I was uh, sincerely preparing for my MD exit exam during my uh, third year of residency. I had a very hectic uh, residency I, as we were the first batch in uh, AIMS Batinda, sir. So uh, we had a very hectic residency, but whatever time I could get one hour or two hour in the evening, uh, I used to go and revise the topics. If, if I'm doing some rare cases, I used to study and go to the OTs. Uh, and if I see some uh, uh, some things which the consultant is managing in the ICU, I will go and read about it after that. So uh, that uh, made me connect all the dots uh, during my residency itself. Sir. So uh, for the MD exit exam, I prepared sincerely and uh, I topped the exam also. Then after, once the MD exit exam was uh, over, after my MD residency, uh, from February, I thought, uh, since uh, the NEAT SS was there on March, I thought I will just continue to prepare, uh, focusing more on MCQs then, so that uh, it will be helpful for my NEAT SS. So I prepared general anesthesia till March, so that uh, I would crack uh, NEAT SS. 
and after my neat ss exam i started a uh, uh, little bit my shift uh, went towards cardiac anesthesia as uh, it iiss is uh, specialty oriented although we get some questions from general anesthesia and my general anesthesia part was uh, fulfilled uh, with the neat ss preparation i focused more on cardiac anesthesia parts but i used to revise the general anesthesia parts also for one or uh, two hours and then uh, after ina uh, ss there was little bit deviation for the ina ss stage 2 preparation sir that i asked some seniors and then i prepared accordingly and it was so taking a cue from whatever you said so far how much of reading general anesthesia actually helped you in your cardiac anesthesia exam in your ina ss because from whatever i know about the ina ss structure it involves a part of both your general anesthesia as well as your cardiac anesthesia with the core specialty you are preparing for so how much of your general anesthesia preparation actually help for your specialty preparation or yeah, in your exams at least at least so it's all the mcqs yes sir uh, sir so basically uh, we have this uh, unwritten rule that 60 40 that 60% specialty and 40% general they will ask sir so uh, i was also keeping that in mind I, and i was preparing for the exam that like uh, they will ask 40 questions from general uh, like 40% from general anesthesia Uh, and for the cardiac anesthesia part, I was uh, going the uh, going little bit further into cardiac anesthesia. Like I was uh, seeing T T T and uh, all the uh, difficult E C G arrhythmias uh, and all the instruments, everything I was reading, sir. But uh, uh, this time actually the exam was little bit easier uh, on on a easier side, sir. Uh, we can see that from the number of students qualified also in cardiac anesthesia. The, it, it was an easier exam. Actually, I gave last year I N A number uh, attempt also, sir, because I was eligible for it. My uh, M D residency got over by Jan only, so I could compare both the exams that attempt and uh, this attempt. And I feel like uh, this last time they had uh, more of echo questions and more of critical care questions, ventilatory mode questions, uh, difficult E C Gs. This time they asked more of general anesthesia questions, sir. Like a M D resident. Uh, who has little bit idea about cardiac anesthesia? He could answer that question. Okay. So the I felt like the cardiac anesthesia part, which I uh, read this time, helped him more to face the mark this time. Do you still think Miller is the key for preparation? Ah yes, sure, sir. We we cannot uh, omit Miller if we are coming to anesthesia. Exactly. Why do you think Miller is the so uh, base for cardiac anesthesia? How much of Miller is it actually important for uh, cardiac anesthesia in your preparation? Um, Sir, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, after my neat ss exam, what I did was I uh, went to, went back to my millers and then I uh, chose all the topics which which are related to cardiac anesthesia, uh, including the cardiac physiology part. And then I uh, read the millers line by line, sir, because they usually tell they will take the questions directly from millers. So uh, both in INA ss first part and then also in the it also will be helpful in the stage two also, sir, because they will expect the. Uh, Answers in the stage two uh, that are directly uh, from the millers. Sir. For example, if you are uh, taking the uh, uh, one lung ventilation, they will and uh, if the patient is desaturating, and then if you are giving the clinical scenario, they will expect the points which is directly from the millers. Sir. The box given Miller. That right? box we that box is that that box. Old box of Miller that is so important. Yeah, perfect. So yeah. As as uh, Dr. Hemant has very clearly said, I think Miller is the key for preparation. As I have reiterated again and again in most of my previous interviews and previous videos, also Miller is the absolute key for cracking any exam. I N I S S, NEET, S S, whatever a competitive exam, even your European Diploma of Anesthesia and Internal, whatever exam you want to crack, Miller stands as the key and is your uh, whatever biblical or whatever book, kind of book you want to call it. That's the key. That's the source that you have to prepare for. Okay. So how much of Your uh, preparation time was for reading the textbook, and how much was it for solving the MCQs? How did you prepare? How did you divide your time? Um, sir, actually, I used to sw uh, swap both the things, sir. I used to uh, because uh, if I read continuously, it will become uh, monotonous, and then I will lose the interest in it. So what I used to do is I used to uh, read the book for some time, and then I used to uh, solve MCQs and search the stuff. And then uh, some 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 part I will give for general anesthesia uh, back uh, to revise general anesthesia, and then I will come back to uh, reading Miller's and then uh, solving MCQ so that I don't fail uh, in in the day while reading. Sir. So that's great. So coming to your uh, interview, how much of your MD preparation or the exam preparation that you had throughout actually helped in your uh, exam? I from whatever. I have heard so far. I think whatever you do in your uh, OT is day by day, and how much ever you are prepared during your MD is what actually helps in your uh, interview is what 
people have told me so far how was it this time for you i said uh sir in uh, both in theory and in interview uh in theory also the questions they ask uh, sometimes if they uh, lean towards the practical uh, clinical questions which we encounter in the ot day by day uh, i think uh, some questions we can relate it to our first year sir basics of monitoring uh, those questions we can relate it to our first year and answer this time they asked that question uh, the level of the bp cuff uh, the centimeter and the mmhg uh, that questions sir. so these are like our first year uh, questions sir uh, from the from there if we go to the uh, inas stage to uh, interview there also the questions will be related to what we do in our ot uh, day by day sir so i think uh, the actual preparation starts from day 1 of md anesthesia residency sir so now coming to our preparation i mean our platform that we have that you have been a part of for so long when did you actually start preparing from search test or when did when, when were you introduced to search test yes sir uh, sir during my uh, third year of residency my uh, senior resident said that uh, this app is there uh because we used to have a tech residency sir so what he said was like whenever you find some time you can uh, purchase this app and whenever you find some uh, find some time you can choose uh, the topic and then you can choose the number of questions also you want to do and then you can uh, do it in a practice mode so that something is going in uh, she did not tell about uh, dr shweta ma'am she did not tell about uh, any entrance preparation or hyphy preparation just for uh, revising the basics just for uh, knowing something uh, very important which is uh, related to anesthesia and related to the uh, topics she asked me to buy this app and uh, see sir um so uh, that time myself i had uh, purchased that that time i actually had a very short term uh, plan sir but uh, it was very useful whenever i used to have emergency duties i used to uh, be fully with, uh, with the app only sir so the, that helped me in that time uh, so uh, after my uh, and then i had the uh, subscription ended that time uh, so after my md uh, exit exam i thought i will i should uh, buy this app again uh, so that it will be very helpful for throughout my uh, uh three months of uh, uh preparation sir so it helped also sir uh so actually i i would like to show my uh, app uh, here sir if, if it is visible yes. so we can uh, we can see that i have uh, uh, almost done all, all the chapters sir only one or two questions i would have left and uh, also uh, what i will use to do is there is one feature where we uh, get the number of correct uh, answers and the number of wrong answers sir. so uh if my number of wrong answers is more than i used to keep a target of 50% sir. so if my number of wrong answers is uh, more than 50% that means i am weak in that topic so i used to go and uh, redo that topic again and again sir sir and also i would like to uh, tell one more thing sir uh, because uh, we used to get uh, mocks for uh, different exams sir before uh, neat ss mock uh, i we had this uh, uh, neat ss mock given by the search test app it was also very helpful sir and uh, but uh, during uh, ina ss mock uh, i think none of the platforms gave any mock test for uh, cardiac anesthesia chapters so what i but we need the practice for uh, this both general anesthesia and cardiac anesthesia combined uh, bag of questions and uh, the real time simulation of 80 questions for uh, stipulated times so what i used to do is i used to uh, put the modules i used to select the modules which are related to cardiac anesthesia and uh, uh, that i used to do for 50% of the time and 50% i used to do for general anesthesia question so the real uh, real time practice which i had uh, for inss is only through search test apps i would have uh, made this like for uh, seven or eight tests i would have given like this Now that makes us so happy that you have uh, that they have actually helped a bit in your uh, long preparation that you have just spoken about. So, a quick word about the question bank. How much was it of real time help in your exams? I mean, the questions, the repeatability, or see any question bank. What I believe is you might not have like to like questions. Like you might not uh, get the exact questions in your uh, question right from the days I gave my entrance exams. uh i don't believe in a question bank that gives me like for like question i mean the same question replicated in the same exam. what i believe is the explanation for each question has to give me a wholesome preparation for that particular topic is what i personally believe in and that's been the motto of uh, this entire anesthesia question bank that we have had in search test if you see the number of questions might not be 2000 3000 somewhere between 700 yes. questions that we actually have right. Right? which we are planning to increase to 1300 by the end of this month so that's the plan for plan as of now so what do you what is your idea about the 700 800 questions do you think it is less it is more or do you think it's optimal for prepare, preparing for such an exam in the short period of time because most of us who finish md or who the verge of finishing md have very little time let's be honest about it so what do you, is the uh, 
uh, is it, do you think this is optimal right now or would you want us to go on go up on the number of questions or do you think okay that's fine then this gives us the optimal preparation as far as the explanation as well as the question do you think the number of questions actually matter Uh, sir, uh, I think for general anesthesia it is optimal, sir. Uh, I did uh, from search test only. I have completed the whole half uh, before my NEET SS exam, and it was uh, helpful for me, sir. So I think for general anesthesia it was optimal, sir. Since I took cardiac anesthesia super specialty in my INSS, I think uh, it needed more practice, sir. Basically, I feel like the MCQ uh, MCQs uh, which we have. is for reviewing my uh, knowledge on the topic so if i am uh, doing uh, doing some thoracic questions th- that will review my uh, one lung ventilation and then the uh, thoracic physiology that i will be with so if it is poor from the explanation that i am reading i will get to know about it so that i can improve myself sir so uh, i feel like for general anesthesia it is uh, more than enough but for uh, inss uh, super specialty uh, related questions i think we should uh, go a more uh, bit uh, deeper into the specialty and we should solve more questions sir so oh, yeah that's more that's a very practical way of approaching the entire uh, process of preparing for these uh, entrance exams because as uh, these uh, as inss and inss have different philosophies of preparation all all together except for the fact that general anesthesia might be the only common uh, bridge between the two and i think your general anesthesia knowledge helps you cross almost half of the uh, half of your uh, inss exams also so yeah. your then starts there and building upon your core specialties uh, all left to you and how strong your miller and your md preparations are that's what uh, i could sum up from whatever you have said so far so sure. it, anything that you want to close up with any closing statements that you want to give us before we uh uh sir uh, i would like to uh... tell to my juniors that they can buy search test tab during the residency itself sir and whenever they are reading some topic after finishing the topic they can use the search test app uh, to uh, do the mcq so that they will have an uh, in depth uh, knowledge which they missed while reading also and they will get to know which areas of the topic are important and uh, even for the md exit exam even for the knowledge purpose for the uh, anesthesia as a whole which part is very important which part we, we can skip and uh, for uh, coming specially to neat ss exam search test app will be very helpful sir and uh, for ina ss exam we can use search test app as an uh, mock exam basis uh, like for uh, 40% general anesthesia and 60% we can uh, put put as a, a custom module and then we can uh, create a mock for ourselves and customize it to ourselves so that will be helpful for the exam also sir thank you so much dr hemant and we are so happy thank for you, uh, success so thank you sir going forward and all the best wish you wish we could see you as a cardiac anesthesiologist in 3 years having a successful career thank you thank so you much. thank you so much sir thank you